Yellowstone National Park officials and NASA just announced a chilling discovery was made inside Yellowstone, a discovery that will send shockwaves through the very foundations of our understanding. But what could prompt such a revelation from the guardians of this natural wonderland? Today we're talking about Yellowstone National Park, a place known for its breathtaking beauty and incredible geothermal features. But recently, NASA made a chilling discovery that has everyone on the edge of their seats. But first, why is Yellowstone so dangerous and what is it that had NASA scientists terrified? Now, if you're sleeping next to an 800-pound gorilla, you monitor every burp, every snore of this gigantic gorilla because when it blows, it could destroy the United States as we know it. Since we can't stop it from one day erupting, what exactly will happen if, or when, it does? If another large caldera forming eruption were to occur at Yellowstone, its effects would be worldwide. Such a giant eruption would have regional effects such as falling ash and short-term changes to the global climate. Those parts of the surrounding states of Montana, Idaho and Wyoming that are closest to Yellowstone would be affected by pyroclastic flows, while other places in the United States would be impacted by falling ash. Such eruptions, usually from calderas, broad volcanic depressions created as the ground surface collapses as a result of the withdrawal of partially molten rock aka magma below. Fortunately, the chances of this sort of eruption at Yellowstone are exceedingly small in the next few thousand years. NASA uses satellites to monitor the Yellowstone volcano twice a day. These satellites look for any variations in the park's temperature which might alert scientists to the possibility of an impending eruption. Because of its potential to cause worldwide destruction in the event of a super eruption, the caldera inside Yellowstone National Park is referred to as a super volcano. It was created during the past three major eruptions, Mesa Falls 1.3 million years ago, Huckleberry Ridge 2.1 million years ago, and the eruption of Lava Creek around 630,000 years ago. The United States Geological Survey continuously scans the region, which is situated under the states of Wyoming, Montana and Idaho, for indications that history may be repeating again. And they have pulled in help from NASA too. Preventing volcanoes from erupting is beyond human control, but scientists can monitor them for signs that one is on the way through the changes in heat at ground level. To, to understand to what extent the heat released by volcanoes can be used to detect when volcanoes start to reactivate. One occurrence which has scientists freaking out is that Yellowstone Lake also experienced seismic activity in just 12 hours, with at least 60 earthquakes reported in less than a day. The region accounts for about 50% of all seismic activity in the Intermountain West region. The Hebgen Lake earthquake, the greatest to ever strike the region, produced large-scale landslides and changed the patterns and behaviors of geysers. The earthquake also significantly impacted the geothermal features of Yellowstone, causing geysers to erupt and altering the behavior of others. The Yellowstone region has experienced a reassessment of seismic dangers, with new hot springs and funerals forming. This has led to adjustments to monitoring and response. The recent swarm of earthquakes has sparked concerns about a potential big eruption. Natural systems uh, can, can throw us a lot of curveballs. A lot of things can happen that we're not really ready for. The region, one of the most seismically active in the United States, has between 1,000 and 3,000 earthquakes per year. The park's geology, perched on a molten rock plume rising from the planet's mantle, is also responsible for the area's volcanic activity. It is one of the few hotspots located beneath the continental crust. Geologists and seismologists closely examine data to identify patterns and cues that might indicate a shift in the volcanic system's behavior. The world watches in horror as scientists continue to study Yellowstone's marvels and the mysteries remaining unsolved. The Yellowstone National Park, home to a diverse range of plant and animal species, has also been experiencing unusual interactions with wildlife, particularly bison. 
Two incidents have occurred, with a woman being attacked by a bison and another woman found dead on the Buttermilk Trail 8 miles from West Yellowstone. Investigators suspect that it was a fatal grizzly bear attack. The area has been closed for human and bear safety and the investigation is ongoing. Started Saturday uh, and continued Sunday. Um, no bears have been captured at this point. The idea that animals may send seismic activity before humans is not new. Animals have been known to exhibit odd behavior in the days preceding earthquakes. The creatures in Yellowstone have adapted to coexist peacefully with the geothermal features and seismic activity that comprise the national park's natural environment, suggesting that the interaction between many of them may be stronger. The bison in particular have a close connection to the soil. Their migratory patterns are influenced by the local geology and they utilize the park's geothermal areas to take advantage of the warmth throughout the winter. That mountain range you see behind me, the north end of the Absurka Beartooth Wilderness and beyond that Yellowstone National Park, no question. Could the recent changes in behavior result from changes in the magma chambers below ground? Are the animals responding to environmental vibrations or chemical changes that are invisible to humans? Scientists are looking at these problems right now in an effort to link seismic data with animal behavior. The relationships between earthquake activity and animal behavior are still mostly unknown to us. The mere mention of a possible eruption at Yellowstone National Park sends shivers down the spine of anybody familiar with the region's formidable geology. First of all, it would be an unprecedentedly large-scale occurrence. Really large eruptions at Yellowstone, so much material comes out. The immediate area around the park would suffer terrible destruction. It would all be destroyed by ashfall, pyroclastic surges and lava flows. The violent eruption would wipe out the breathtaking landscapes, varied wildlife and well-known geysers. Moreover, there would be a devastating human cost, with neighboring cities and people at grave risk and arduous evacuation operations. 90% of everyone living within a thousand kilometers of the explosion might perish in the fallout from a Yellowstone mega eruption, according to one scenario. The eruption could hit three quarters of the United States. One of the most horrifying aspects of a Yellowstone eruption would be the vast amount of asphalt. Large parts of North America might be covered in ash from an eruption that spews thousands of cubic kilometers of material into the atmosphere. Even found in the Gulf of Mexico, up in northeast Montana as a site. Additionally, the enormous quantities of volcanic gases and aerosols that would be released into the atmosphere would have a significant impact on the climate on a global scale. A stratospheric aerosol layer composed of sulfur dioxide and other gases may deflect sunlight, significantly cooling the Earth's surface. According to one analysis, a Yellowstone super eruption might result in an annual global temperature degrees of up to 12 degrees Celsius. This volcanic winter could affect weather patterns, reducing agricultural yields and leading to food scarcity in various parts of the world. In this geologically active area, the prospect of an earthquake or volcanic eruption is a cause for significant anxiety, and the authorities are doing everything in their power to understand, monitor and reduce the potential risks. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory and other partners recently unveiled a new volcano and earthquake monitoring plan that seeks to enhance regional monitoring and hazards assessment. Seismometers, GPS stations and other tools are strategically positioned around the park as part of this plan to offer real-time data on the geological activity taking place below the surface. Over the next 10 years, several new technologies will be introduced to monitor geothermal activity and offer information on reducing geological risks in the Yellowstone region. Doublet Pool behind me. And in early June, a small feature formed just next to Doublet Pool and right underneath the boardwalk. It was splashing hot water onto the boardwalk, and that's one of the reasons that this area is closed. For now, authorities have reassured the public that the recent seismicity does not indicate an imminent eruption. The recent earthquakes are likely related to the movement of fluids and gases beneath the surface of natural process in such a geologically active area. There is a developing situation, and we'll be sure to keep you updated as more information comes in. Make sure to share this video with your friends and family so that everyone stays informed. What are your thoughts on Yellowstone erupting? 
leave a comment down below and of course don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for all the latest updates. Until next time, stay safe everyone.